Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Zen. Really excited to be with you guys today. Today, I'm going to be talking about Juno Network and the mythology behind the name. I believe in some cryptos, the name is important and to give you some clues. So, Juno is based on Roman mythology. And we know that they know about this because they just had the Juno Veneta hackathon. So, why is that important? Juno is the temple. The Temple of Juno Mineta. So let me read the whole mythology of Juno. Juno, the protector and special counselor of the state, was the patron goddess of the Roman Empire. She was called Queen and was member of the Capitoline Triad in Rome. She is equated to the female counterpart of the male genius. It can be said that every man has, has his genius, every woman has her Juno. One of the most complicated goddesses of the Roman Empire, her, her influence expanded with time. However, Juno's primary role was the principal female divinity of the state. Juno's cult is relevant to the cryptosphere as the stories and mythologies that underlie many of the market's prominent cryptocurrency projects can be used, can be used to better understand their place and influence within the greater ecosystem. The most relevant application of Juno in the cryptosphere is her role as Juno Mineta. Temple of Juno Mineta was a Roman temple that stood on the Arx or citadel of Capitoline Hill overlooking the Roman Forum. Juno Mineta was regarded as the protectress of the city funds. Coins were minted in her, in her temple and the words mint and money derived from the name Mineta. So Juno Mineta. They just had the Mineta hackathon. That's what the temple looked like. Thank you for shouting out my video. Not only does Juno offer opportunities to delegate, stake, and provide liquidity to various networks, chatter throughout the crypto, crypto community continues to speculate that a great migration will occur within the crypto sphere, that the majority of the projects tied to ETH will quickly move to the networks with lower gas fees and faster payment protocols. Juno is currently exploring the opportunity to build the first public and permissionless network for interoperable smart contract deployment with the Cosm Wasm as a base layer of operation. Uh, the same, same smart contracts Corium's using. So Roman, the Roman mythology is definitely <laughs> playing a big role in, in Juno, in Juno network. Now, um, this coin has been doing pretty good, $13 and 31 cents. And they're offering 100% APR. Loss of explosive growth happening. They have Juno Mint coming. They have Juno Swap Dex building, uh, Juno Drop, Neta Money, Dow, and so much more um, popping up on Juno Network. That was just posted. They also just reached a market cap of 500 million. They just proposed uh, integration on the Kepler wallet, which is big. This has all happened since the video. You can also join their Discord and they're gonna have quests where you can earn more rewards. Welcome to the Grind Warrior, welcome to Juno Rewards. Join their Discord for the quest. So go join the Discord. Um, they're super pumped up. Congratulations to Juno Network. Juno has reached a market cap of 500 million. This is only the beginning of explosive growth. Great milestones are achieved on a daily basis and great, greater things are on the way. The community is great, it's a community project and uh, it's doing pretty well. I'm gonna be, I've been taking a break. I've been doing something called a Dopium Detox. Uh, if some of the things that you used to do aren't basically satisfying you or bringing you joy like they once were, then your dopamine levels are probably out of balance. And my dopamine, past couple of months, I was grinding so hard on my phone, on these screens, that my dopamine levels were shot. And normal things that would bring me happiness and joy weren't really hitting it for me. So I spent the past few days just doing the best I can to just limit myself to anything that causes dopamine. And I'm feeling so much better. I feel so much more motivated, excited to work on my businesses work on myself, my health, everything. So I want to share that with you guys because some of you guys might be experiencing the same thing that I was going through. So um, make some lifestyle changes and all of a sudden my mind's back to being 100% sharp. I feel good. I'm, I'm really excited. 
But uh, yeah, go to my website. I have going to be posting all the different 2022 picks that I think are going to be big for the upcoming year. They're all going to be here on my website. So uh, shout out to all of you guys uh, who support my website. And uh, we're going to be going deep. So this video is on Juno Network. Uh, let me know what you guys want from me next. I'm going to leave a video from uh, Ethan. Ethan is uh, the president of Interchain Foundation right now. He's also co-founder of Tendermint Technology, and he's basically a philosopher in my eyes. He's a big, big developer in Cosmos. And I'm going to play you uh, this video real quick. A lot of what uh, your viewpoint of the world is, is driven by the philosophy of Cosmos and, and uh, you and, and the other people working on this. Maybe talk through a little bit of that philosophy um, and, and why you're so adamant about, uh, you know, kind of defining the philosophy and then constantly checking to make sure that you're, you're kind of always working within the boundaries of it. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, a lot of people think technologies are uh, neutral uh, in a way. I mean, they're not. They're, they're typically driven by, by the values of the founders, and it's really important to... Um, you know, to, to stay true to those values. And we see things like, you know, Google initially founded with like, don't be evil. Uh, and now, I don't know, they changed their model to something stupid, but it's no longer don't be evil. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of other people in crypto talk about this, like can't be evil philosophy, which is really great because you like program things to not be evil. Um, there, there's a lot in the world, the sort of uh, political economics. And, and I think the blockchain space has really blown open the doors on what we can do with political economics, but fundamentally, like the problems in our time are political economic problems where, you know, there's the institutions are losing a lot of legitimacy. Um, you know, the, the nation states have kind of gotten too big to effectively manage themselves. They're, they're too complex and sort of like a, a Hayekian sense. They can't process enough of, of the sort of low level localist information. And so, you know, you can think of a lot of the, the blockchain systems today as, as potentially making similar kinds of mistakes as establishing themselves as like overextended empires that are sort of trying to dominate the whole world and get everyone to use their system and kind of monopolize. And, and we really wanted to push back a bit against that and say, look, the most important thing is this sort of localist bottom up ideal, right? That, that individual communities can sort of, uh, you know, take control of their own destinies and, and their own sort of infrastructure and use infrastructure that reflects their own values. And I don't know what their values are, right? I can't say to them, use this thing because this thing is, is correct and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force it on you and whatever. The important thing is to, uh, you know, give them technologies that allow them to reflect their own values, whether I agree with them or not, right? And that was really what drove, what drove Cosmos was this idea of sovereignty that, you know, any community um, could do this, could, could put together their own blockchain to reflect their own values, whatever they might be, uh, and still be interoperable with everyone else. So even though you have your own value system, you're not siloed off from others, you're still interoperable. And so from that bottom up perspective, then build, you know, uh, global or international uh, systems that connect different values um, and, and different nation states and so on. So while a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of blockchain systems today might sort of position themselves as these kind of domineering empires, you could think of the cosmos model as more like the nation state, right? It's like each country sort of fragments out of, out of these empires. They, they have their own constitution, their own citizenry, their own culture and value system. And yet they're still kind of interoperable with all the others. And so that, that balance of sovereignty and interoperability, we think is really important, not just to the blockchain space, but also uh, to political economics writ large, right? And there's sort of the, you know, history of the last few thousand years as this kind of you know, this tension between sovereignty and hegemony or between isolation and interconnection, right? And, and really trying to surface that historical political economic trend and, and its importance today. Like if you look at, you know, municipalities still don't have really constitutional recognition or legitimacy. They're still kind of agents of the state where more than 50% of the population now lives in cities. And, you know, we have a lot of problems because of the lack of say independent monetary policy by cities or so on, right? So um, the goal of Cosmos is really to sort of bring that philosophy to light and, and remind people that, yes, uh, you know, we do have sort of control over our destinies, or at least we should, and we can build technology that really enables that. And that's really what we, uh, what we have been prioritizing. And, you know, we think to great success, as we now see, um, arguably Cosmos is the most successful blockchain application platform after Ethereum. You know, Ethereum came first to sort of have this first mover advantage, but people have really gravitated towards this sort of sovereign ideal that, oh, I can use this tech and I don't have to subscribe to some other person's political economic ideals because I can, I can assert my own, right? Um, yeah.